Gorgory, but a little bit, I don't even, I, I guess, not just Phonics, those Russian guys' name, it's probably Gregory or whatever, something like that. It looks like Gorgory to me. Anyways, he was real high on the Russian ladder for a long time. Instead of us being pinky pressure, bumping, elbow high, so like Sitikov's more like right here. You see a lot more American domestic wrestlers there deep in the armpit, attacking the elbow. You see the European guys, they'd be real deep fight on the armpit. Okay, they're not down here elbow control. Deep fight on the armpit. A lot of times what happens is, you're just tying up with a guy right here and get a deep bite on the armpit, kind of like you're a duck under. Like if I'm ducking, if I'm ducking to my backside, I get a get big deep bite right here and kind of collapse this guy's arm. Alright? So I got a good deep bite. If his arm's straight, it's gonna be real tough to get a bite on it. Because my hand's just gonna slide down. So when I get a deep bite on this arm, I kind of want to bend the elbow a little bit if I can. Alright? And we're gonna be same side as we were. We're gonna foot change just like we did and I'm kicking in the middle. But I want you guys to get a real good bite to start right here and keep the elbow bent. Alright, I want a deep, deep bite in the armpit. Reason being is, that's gonna be my anchor when I slide them by, just like we've been sliding everything else by. But I gotta have that good initial bite and if the arm's straight, my hand's just gonna slide down it, okay? So we're still gonna be on this collar tie side. He's gonna collar tie and I'm gonna get a good bite right here in the armpit. I'm gonna have that lead leg, and just like we said earlier, if you wanna use a circle motion to change your lead leg, perfectly fine, okay? If you wanna use that circle motion, or you can just be right here, pressure in, change your lead leg, but I want you on the outside, okay? So I can, I can be right here, I can shop to change my lead leg, and then come out here to the armpit and get that good bite, all right? Again, it's gonna be a change, a foot change, and my mechanics are going to be the same. Foot change, kick in, and as I start to turn that chest away, I'm sliding them by. We're going to end up in the same position. I got this claw. Now, a lot of you guys are stopping your move right here. If I let this guy get his chest facing the mat and his feet on the mat, he's not going to be able to get beat here too much. And he, yeah, he'll start hooking and driving into me. So before he gets his chest squared to the mat, keep popping circling and opening it up. I want you ending up here every time. Fight to that angle, keep elevating with that inside foot. Hop it in all the way down to the mat. All right, that's magic. Deal with it, all right. So it's outside hand, big bite in the armpit. Outside foot here. I got my collar tie. Foot change, kick in between, elevate. Right here, look away, bend over at the way, same thing we've been doing. Add that pressure here, okay? Foot change, right there, slide it by, and I'm circling in, circling in, circling in. Put them on their hip every single time. Circle in, put them on their hip every single time, all right? Halfway fast, and again, the only difference is it's palm up in the armpit, okay? I'm here, okay? They've got chop and circle it at the elbow. Change my lead leg and kick right there. Then I'm circling all the way down. So play, play with your methods in there. All right, chop circle. Normally we'd come here, coming to the outside now. Foot change, slide them by. Circle them down all the way down to the mat. Knee in between the legs, maybe I'll get lucky and get a turk. Worst case scenario, he, he bases down right here. If I'm a claw right guy, boom. Starting to go right into my turns with my claw. Don't let him off the hook. Questions? Everything we've been doing, except it's palm up, hand on the outside, instead of over tie digging in or over tie elevate. Play there. Go.